20% increase. I always wanted a thing called tuna sashimi. Hello, Tony out again. Um, this time I've got something a little bit special. I've got Raiden Fighter Overkill on the PS3. We were waiting for this game to come out for a long time and I hadn't realised, I looked this morning and it's, it's out. So if you want some shoot map action, go straight to PSN and buy it now for $15.99. Um, so what we'll do, we'll have a bit of a let's play of this. So I'll play through some of the modes so you can have a quick look at it. I haven't really played it myself yet, so it should be interesting. Yeah, so it came out on the arcades, which I've never seen, and it also came out on the Xbox 360, but it was region locked to Japan, or it came out in the US as well, so it's a bit of a shame, you could never get it over here, which is getting, so I've always wanted to play it. So I'm a little bit excited to play this game. So we're back to the start, let's have a look what we got then. So you've got overkill mode. So a new play mode for two missions and new score system. You've got additional mode, the variation of the arcade mode, for two new stages, that's cool. Score attack, which is just score attack. You've got the actual arcade mode itself, with two difficulties. You've got the world rankings, you've got your options, and you've got replaying gallery. Gallery gives you like, um, when I looked at it, it gives you some of the characters in the games in free in 3Ds, like the tanks and planes, and you can have a look at them. It looks like you've got to unlock stuff. So we'll start with the arcade mode, and then we can see if we can see what the differences are. What I notice as well is you've got this character. She's new. So you can pick a character where you want to play, but she's new, so it might be quite interesting to try her out. But We'll just start the game for now. I'm saying quite excited to play this game because uh, I've been waiting for this to come out for ages. Uh, you've got plasma, two different plasma shots. One is a freeway one that doesn't lock on, and you've got your, your standard pink plasma, like from uh, Raiden 2. So we'll go with that. The one that doesn't lock on is not that great. I did play this game briefly, and the, there's a Type X emulator. It's a bit fussy to get work in. But if you can, it does look pretty sweet. I did play in the emulator a little bit. I was even considering buying a Type X board and this game at one point because I really want that much and I wanted to play it. So you get different weapons. You've got homing missiles and your standard missiles. I think there's a third missile, a powerful one as well. You got a smart bomb. You got three different weapons. You got the spread fire, which I'm using now. You got the blue laser, which is very, it's got very short width on it, but uh, it kicks ass. And you got the pink laser, which locks on. Pretty cool. When you power this pink laser up, on Raiden 2 it was a beast. I say apparently from what I've read, the American version is suffering from not compatible with joysticks. There's some bug or something in it. Ah, but uh, the British version apparently doesn't suffer that, but I'm using an Xbox pad at the moment on my PS3, so Seems to be working fine. See, so the other thing Raiden games are known for is really good music. They're also known for being pretty hard. Do the first guardian without using the bomb. 
Championship. Pretty cool so far, guys. I've also recently downloaded another game for the PC, uh, Shoot 'em Up. I'll have to do a video of that as well because that game is pretty damn stunning. I only played it briefly this morning when I downloaded it, but pretty awesome. It's on Steam. So you guys could buy it if you want, if you want to do, but uh, it's a pretty damn good game. Looks decent anyway, it's pretty awesome looking. As you may have guessed, I really like shmups. Some of the bullet patterns on there are quite interesting. I can see myself putting quite a bit of time into this. But anyway, that's uh, Raiden 4 Arcade Mode, so I should try one of the other modes. Let's try the Overkill Mode, which is what well, this game is. And what we'll do, we'll change our character. We'll have a go at that. We'll have a go with the uh, like fairy girl or something. Choose a weapon you require. Hmm, okay. Yeah, so I don't know whether this is like an arranged mode or something. Music's different anyway. It's pretty odd. Like a little tiny fairy. Oh. Mortal cleft in something. Looks like bonuses or something. Ooh. The spaceship end had like an energy bar on it, which is quite strange. What's now? I'll blow it up and it gets an energy bar there. Well, the music doesn't seem quite as good. Seems pretty cool, but. Doesn't seem as good as the original music. Oh, the pink weapon's weird. She's pretty fast as well. <laughs> the smart bomb is extreme fairies, but look at it. Let's see if I can try a blue laser weapon and see what that looks like. Oh, she's got options on her, like uh, Gradius. Go oh, fairies, go. Cool. I don't know what that is, level one. Looks like they've changed the scoring system on you as well. Missiles are quite different as well. Naked fairy girl. Seems pretty cool, though. Seems definitely seems a little bit different. Yeah, that NG bar, you've got to, you've got to build it up. No, you don't get many lives either. All right, that's cool. It seems quite different to the original version. Some of the enemies got NG bars you've got to build up, and there's like level one, level two, level three. I got up to you got clicks on. Almost be something to do with scoring. I'm not sure what though. I'll have to play it a bit more to figure that out. 
Oh, I actually got my name in there. Just has to be safe when we play then. So I'll go back. Right, let's go to additional mode. I'm assuming this is like a remix of the arcade one. So I'll change my character back. Well, that was a bit more like the uh, arcade version. Apparently this, this one's got two extra levels. I'm not entirely sure how many levels are on the arcade, but there's probably eight or ten. We got the original music back anyway. Pretty much like the original arcade version so far. Perhaps it is, perhaps it's exactly the same, but with just two extra levels. The missiles, the ones with the R, they're really powerful. At least they were on the other reading games. Never read a game where we're picking it, guys. If you've got a PS2, you can find a copy of it. Read and free. It's a never shit out reading game. And the other one is the uh, Region Fighters, or well, not Region Fighters, um, Region Project on the PS1. That's really sweet. They're like pretty much arcade perfect versions of uh, both arcade games on one disc. Always very good for taking out guardians. So the blue laser is devastating when you actually power it up, but it's not very wide as you can see. I suppose you can compensate that with the homing missiles. Definitely wiping these out pretty fast. I'll see if I can get the homing missiles now. I didn't know much. So the music's pretty cool in this game. I think this comes some sort of scoring mechanism. Up on the uh, left hand side. It's definitely racking up every time I shoot something, it's going up and up.
anyway guys, I'll show you this car again. And then, uh, we'll stop. Home of this was pretty awesome. It's a bit like a Klingon bird of prey. Anyway guys, that's uh, Raiden Fighters 4 on the PS3, um, it's up on PSN now, go and buy it for yourself, it's $15.99, uh, seems well worth having and I'm going to get something very much out of this. So I'll uh, see you guys soon in the next video, enjoy!